good morning. Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. Today, we're still in Newfoundland, and in fact, we're heading down a three kilometer trail to get on a boat tour so we can have a better look at Western Brook Pond. So, this is the beautiful scenery. I hope you stay with us and witness this along with us. magnificent view while we're here on our hike. So this three kilometer trek is meant to be a fairly easy one, but it's what is required in order to get you out to the pond. And then uh, we'll board the boat, which they've assured us is covered. <laughs> and uh, there's only two reasons that they've canceled these trips. Rain is not one of them. Since that happens so regularly in Newfoundland, it's fog and high winds. So we knew that we probably would, were pretty safe to get ourselves ready to come down here and enjoy this trek today. We booked this tour about three days ago. The weather then looks stellar for today, but weather changes quite rapidly when you're by the ocean or for us, when we're by the Great Lakes, so uh, in Ontario. So anyway, we're looking forward to seeing some pretty fascinating information about the geological formation of Gross Morne National Park. hard because inside we're like <laughs> sardines sitting so close together with maybe I don't know 50 people and the windows are all steamed up and it is raining so I'm on the back of the boat just to see what there is to see and I love this beauty
Good morning. This morning we're heading out to Gross Morn Mountain and uh, it's near the visitor center here in the National Park and it's an absolutely gorgeous morning so we're just gonna make our way there. It takes probably about 45 minutes to get there. 10 degrees Celsius so it's not too terribly warm but it's gonna head up to 20 degrees Celsius by this afternoon. The most beautiful of the next few days that we have here uh, left at Gross Morn National Park. So we're looking forward to that and we're bringing you along. Okay, so we started on the trail at 8 a.m. So just about uh, five minutes ago. Yeah, the black flies were all around us in the parking lot. So I'm hoping that we lose them so I can lose this bug shirt <laughs> screen. But uh, anyway, it's a very popular trail to be on. And there are a lot of people that have arrived at the parking lot, you know, in order to do this. So we're looking forward to the beautiful sights that lie ahead of us. Yeah, there's so much beauty here. There's so much water coming down the mountain. I love the sound of water. Beauty just never stops up here. We're on this trail, still <laughs> on the way up uh, Gross Morn Mountain. And this is the first time I've had a chance to see scat on the trail. So this shows us 
some sort of mammal lives along here. And this is interesting to me. So we call that a latrine when it has come back more than once to deposit in a specific area. So I'll have to look that up and see what kind of mammal lives up here in the mountains. Okay, uh, so we've come to a conclusion because we weren't sure if we were going to go uh, right up to the peak of Gross Morn Mountain. And Shannon, what do you say to that possibility? Um, no. If you look, people are traversing all the way up to the summit. It looks like it's you're crawling, not walking or climbing. You're crawling. I'm not into that because then I will feel it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm I'm yeah. more for it. Let's let's go have lunch. <laughs> I think I heard you say that when we were in Lake Superior Provincial Park and we were going on one of those trails. Well, that's the reward. That's the reward. Okay. So uh we're gonna go to the end of this and then it will I guess be a little bit of a fork so that it'll be a loop up to the top. And then we're going to head back down the mountain. But anyway, it's been amazing. Um, it hasn't been too bad. I mean, yeah, there's bugs. Uh, you can see them around the camera. You can see them around my um, bug shirt. And you can see them inside my bug shirt. I don't like that part. But anyway, we're going to continue on. Yeah, I guess the uh, park um, decides when to open up the summit in the spring because it does get pretty wet. And there are some areas that we walked over that um, are muddy. Some that have little wooden boardwalks placed over them to help preserve the land and the, the plants. But um, anyway, it seems like this is, for the most part, it's, it's very passable. It's a very rocky uh, route as we are getting closer to that summit trail which we are not going to be scaling
So we're continuing on the trail, heading back down the mountain. And, uh, oh dear. Some of the critters got inside. I guess when I unzip it. So anyway, some people are wondering, look what a great idea to bring a bug shirt. Because their numbers are only increasing as the day warms up. So Shannon was just slowing down here and uh, just pointed out that uh, that leg bone. Looks like it's probably from a moose. So anyway, there might have been one that had died in this area. See, they don't really have natural predators here. It's hunters, human hunters, because uh, they don't have wolves on uh, Newfoundland's island, like on the island. Um, and bears, I don't know how much of a threat they pose, except for maybe very young moose. But um, anyway, they also are moose that will get older and be less fit and they will ultimately uh, die as well. But uh, I think human hunters are about their, uh, their biggest threat in vehicles, of course. We just finished the hike. It took us three and a half hours. We did not do the summit. Uh, so that was really just the, um, the trail that brings you up to the loop that you would continue on to scale the crevice up to the, uh, the peak of the mountain. So I just looked at my Fitbit. So for those of you who have Fitbits, it took us uh, 17,000 steps and it was seven and a half miles. 118 flights and 222 minutes of activity so what that really boils down to is we've now created enough uh, caloric loss that we need to have some lunch <laughs> and so we're gonna go into um, what's the name of the harbor Rocky Harbor so we met a woman who was out on the trail and she does this as her regular exercise she hasn't done the summit but that's one of the things that she's training for and uh, so she has a restaurant that's in Rocky Harbor. So I'm not sure that that's where we're going to end up going. We'll sort of meander our way around and uh, check out the town because we don't normally come down this far, uh, considering we're camping up at Shallow Bay. The parking lot is full. So advice from us, if you're going to come out on this trail, best thing to do is to do it as early as possible in the day. I mean, we didn't do it really early. Um, we got up probably around... 5 30 or something like that this morning and we started on the trail at eight o'clock so by that time it was still very comfortable temperature wise um, although the high today is only supposed to be 20 degrees it feels like it's getting up there now and that means it gets buggier with both black flies and mosquitoes so anyway i think we beat the rush of that but also it wasn't as busy whereas as i say parking lot is jam-packed they're probably out on the road uh, you know so we'll be vacating this spot and making somebody happy today all right well that's a wrap for this video thank you so much for following along if you enjoyed it click like uh, consider subscribing because we're going to do some more camping trips and uh, certainly i'll be doing some more hikes over the course of the season bye for now